What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my racket setup. So first, let's talk about the racket itself. The racket I use to play tennis is the Pro Staff 97 Countervail. Now a lot of people, I've seen a lot of comments on, on my videos and people have DM'd me on Instagram asking whether I use the Countervail or the Autograph. Um, I use the Countervail racket. Now, the Pro Staff 97 itself is used by many pros such as Philip Kohlschreiber and I think some guy called like uh, Roger Federer or something, I don't know, like some, he's not that good but he uses it as well, just so you guys know, um, and obviously me, I use it as well, uh, I'm not saying I'm a pro but those are, those are some of the people who use uh, the Pro Staff 97. Now the benefits of the racket are huge, um, the reason I use the countervail over the autograph is because the countervail reduces impact during hitting, therefore there is less vibration, it gives you more stability when you're hitting the shot, it also gives you a little bit more feel because there's no there's no external vibration or effect it, um, when the racket makes impact with the ball. So that's the reason I use the countervail over the autograph. Also, the countervail offers better weight for me personally. The autograph, I believe, is 340 grams. I play with a 315. I think the 340 is a bit too heavy for me, especially when I'm competing and playing uh, playing matches and practicing every day. I don't want to injure my shoulder, strain it. Um, I think 3 340 grams is a bit too heavy for me. I think it's unnecessary weight. And the difference between the power on your shot between a 315 gram racket and a 340 for me at least it doesn't make too much of a difference. Also, the countervail racket allows you to swing more freely. Since there's reduced impact, reduced vibration on impact, there is you have more feel and the racket is a little bit stiffer. And so you can swing more, swing at your shots fully, knowing that you will have that control. Therefore, you can hit as hard as you want and you're almost certain that it will go in. And lastly, looking at my racket, I just I just like the way it looks, you know, that black and white, the classic, the classic frame, it just looks neat, it just looks professional. I just enjoy the, the colours and the way it the way it stands out. Moving on to my strings. So currently I use black magic. Um, it's the team string. The reason I use it is because firstly it's free, secondly it's the team string and thirdly it's really accessible i mean i can string my rackets almost every day i don't need to spend money on reels however the problem with the string is it breaks really really easily i pretty much break every one or two practices um, i have four rackets so i'm not in danger of not having any rackets but the string is constantly having to string my rackets and obviously that's not something that I want to be doing either, I don't want to be breaking every every practice because that gives me that uncertainty when I go to matches that it will break after the first or second set. The string itself is not bad, I enjoy playing with it and I think I've adapted a lot since I came to college. So I'm not worried about any inconsistencies when I'm playing matches, but I wouldn't recommend using that string. I want to buy the Pro Staff 97. Now I used to play with Babalat Pro Hurricane. Uh, before I came to the States. Back home I used it on my Head Radical and then I switched it to my Wilson Pro Staff 97. Used it on both. I love that string simply because of its durability. It gave me everything I needed. It was a pretty stiff string so it allowed me to swing at the ball without any problems. Um, I didn't have to worry that the ball was going to fly out any inconsistencies with my hit. I pretty much knew that every time if I didn't put all my body weight into it or didn't swing as hard as I could that it was going to drop short. I mean it's a pretty stiff string but I enjoy those kind of strings um, because they give me that certainty. I love strings with control. That's that's essentially a big part of my game because I do like to play aggressive so I need that control and consistency there in the string. Also another great attribute of the Pro Hurricane is um, the spin that you that is generated from the string itself. The string is pretty gritty so when you make contact with the ball, the, the ball bounces off and is gritted to the string and then more spin is added. So the ball essentially is coming off heavier from your racket simply due to the spin. So I used the Pro Hurricane back home, however I wouldn't recommend uh, 
the Pro Hurricane as the best string for this racket. That was simply my preference. I think the best string for the Pro Stuff 97, especially Countervail, is the Luxilon ALU Power. I think it supports the racket so well. The strings are really gritty, so when you make contact with the ball, it gives you that extra pop, that extra spin, creating a really heavy ball. Also, the string is exceptional for feel, and it really matches the racket itself. I think they're a perfect match. And also, the string is, is, is almost a pioneer of tennis. It's one of the most perfect strings out there. So many pros use this string, or at least mix the string with something else. Pioneer string, um, definitely, definitely the best string in my opinion for the counter veil. Lastly, let's take a look at grips and what grips I use. I mean, this topic is pretty simple. I use the uh, Wilson Comfort white grip. It's pretty standard. You can find it in almost any shop, any tennis shop, or you can order it online from Tennis Warehouse. I think it's the best grip out there. It looks great, clear white. It's comfortable, um, feels great on your hand, and also. It's quite thin, so it allows you to feel as though you're hitting the ball with your hand, which gives you that extra feel, extra sense of the ball, which is great because it gives you more control. And like I said, my game is all about having control. However, sometimes in North Carolina, especially in the South, the weather gets really hot and humid. Um, I experienced it last fall when I first came in August and September, even October, and I was sweating a lot. My grip was drenched at the beginning. Therefore, I, I changed my grip from the White Comfort Wilson to the Torna, the purple Torna grips. They're great for absorbing sweat and you essentially you won't have a sticky or sweaty grip or wet grip. The Torna are great at absorption. They're also thin. You can really feel the ball well with, with the Torna grips. They feel good on your hands. I mean, it's a personal preference. Some people really don't like the Torna grips because they, they damage easily. Probably after one hitting session, they'll already be ripped. So you do have to change them quite frequently. However, I think they're great for when the weather's humid. If you're playing on clay, for example, you don't want to get you don't want the white grip to get dirty. So the Torna grips are my second choice, definitely. Okay, guys. So that's gonna wrap it up. That was my racket setup. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I tried to make it as informational as possible. Please let me know the feedback. Um, any responses for this video will be helpful. Let me know if you want to, if you want to see more videos like this, where I go into more depth about technical things or tactics or things like that. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave it a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.